Prophet Sdr. Deborah Flint 3. They worship the dragon and the beast and they whore after the beast. On the 31st day of October, 2018, the word of the Lord came to me saying, Inasmuch as the Democratic Party have chosen the path of evil in their support for every evil work and abomination before me, and have sold themselves to work that which is evil in my sight by embracing the abomination of Sodom and Gomorrah and the killing of the unborn child and the helpless, my judgment shall surely find all that enable, promulgate, and perpetuate this evil, and all that are complicit to it until they are no more able to promote evil and abomination before me. In the Republican Party, there are some who have serious secret sins. I do what I do for this nation for my name Sarke and for my people Sarke, for the Sarke of my faithful servants who call upon me day and night and live by my word in obedience. Everyone shall be judged according to their evil deed, their actions, and their inactions, except they repent and cease from their unrighteous ways saith the Lord God. The Lord showed me a particular television minister who presents regular programming for his ministry. The Lord showed me that this minister does not really preach the gospel, that all this minister does is asking for money from his audience every time he presents his program. The Lord showed me that every word that comes out of this minister's mouth says nothing else but asking for money from his audience instead of preaching his true word. And the Lord said, He does not serve me, he serves money and wealth, and he is deceiving many. So are all the others who call themselves ministers of the gospel that do the same and follow his path in their greed for money and wealth. These are wolves among the sheep and they do not serve me saith the Lord God. On the 23rd day of December, 2018, I saw a minister who was preaching on television, and the minister stated, We Christians know that Jesus was not born on the 25th of December, but we celebrate Christmas on that day because we are honoring the birth of Jesus. I inquired of the Lord about his will concerning this and if it is right for true Christians to celebrate that day, the 25th of December in the name of Jesus' birthday. And the Lord said, Great multitude of people who celebrate that day, the 25th of December are celebrating and observing the rituals and ordinances of pagan gods which were put in place by pagans and brought into the church by pagans on the pretext that they are serving me. By so doing they have made a great multitude of people around the world to err and commit the abomination of performing pagan rituals and idolatry. They worship the dragon and the beast, and they whore after the beast. By observing this date, they have sold their souls to the beast who is deceiving great many people around the world. By celebrating this day and date they observe the rituals and celebrate the feast of pagan gods on this day the 25th of December, even if they place my holy name on it. They are and are in danger of my judgment except they repent and remove themselves from this grievous sin of the abomination of idol worship. Foolish men and women who call themselves ministers of my gospel vigorously and adamantly defend their observance of this day the 25th of December, which is a pagan feast day. They also teach their congregations to do so and therefore lead them to commit the great sin of idolatry against me, the Most High God. They all whore after the beast in their lust and gluttony. My faithful servants honor me and celebrate me by living my word every day in obedience, and in holiness before me. My faithful and obedient children must follow the examples I have provided to them in my word. Observe my Sabbaths and my feasts which I have set forth for you to celebrate, to rest, to eat and drink, and to be merry. Also, follow the righteous examples of my ancient apostles who were with me, they saw me face to face and walked side by side in the way with me on earth. Neither I nor my apostles of ancient times who walked with me instituted nor observed any new feasts. My faithful apostles observed my established numerous Sabbaths and feasts as it is written in my word. All who have an ear to hear, let them hear. Blessed are those who hear and honor my word, 
and turn from this grievous sin of the abomination of idolatry and pagan god worship saith the Lord of hosts. Seek me, the Lord God with all your heart and soul, and with an open mind in obedience, follow my word explicitly and keep them as it is written. Seek me honestly and earnestly without guile or doubt, and ye shall find me at every turn in your life, and you will behold my hand of salvation. Cast down and throw away your old unrighteous ways and put on the new and righteous ways, and walk in my path in humbleness and in obedience that it may be well with thee. Is anyone hearing my word which I have spoken and is calling you to repentance? Blessed is he or she who hears and obeys saith the Lord God Almighty. On the eleventh day of January, 2019, I saw and beheld the abomination of a very tall, huge pine tree with a very large base borne by machinery because of its size, and carried into a large corporate lobby. It was decorated with all manner of ornaments, decked with gold and other colors of ornaments, and lights. It stood two stories high and huge. A feast was made for it with loud music to celebrate its lighting in the name of Christmas. A great number of people, the staff, their families, acquaintances, neighbors, friends, etc., attended. A great multitude came and ate, drank, danced, and rejoiced over the tree lighting in celebration of Christmas, the 25th day of December. I pondered over all these things and said, Lord God, how can your faithful children escape this? How do they deal with this and escape this workplace entanglement and abomination before you? And the Lord said, My faithful servants should just don't partake in the celebration and in the eating, the drinking, the dancing, and the reveling so that they condemn not themselves by celebrating the feast of the beast. My faithful servants must remove themselves from whoring after the beast lest they condemn their souls by committing the great sin of idolatry and abomination before me saith the Most High God. As you read and hear these revelations of the Lord God Almighty, do not harden your heart, but search yourself and repent, and turn from unrighteous works, and seek the Lord God Most High with all your heart and soul, and follow his ways and live his word in holiness. If you so do, the Lord will have mercy on you, and on all that truly repents and follow him in righteousness in your household. You will have nothing to lose but everything to gain. For what shall it profit a man, if he shall gain the whole world, and lose his own soul? Mark 8:36, KJV. Hear and obey the word of the Most High God. Holy. Holy. Holy is the Lord God Almighty. Serve him faithfully. Dr. Deborah Flint. Prophetess.